episode number 11 of Out of My Depth in Paradise. I am the FM Novice and we are here today to see the Seychelles League Cup Final against La Paz. A complete replica of last season's game and last season we lost so we are out for revenge. Since we were last together which was the Humdinger away at St Michael United where we went mental in the second half and won it after being several goals down at one point. 3-0 down at one point and we won it 5-4. We then drew against Stad Linete in the cup. Three goals in that one for us. Lesperant, Anacora and Suzette with the goals. Potentially I thought we'd won it in, we just scored in the 88th minute. Then they got an equalizer in the 92nd and so we went for the second leg. All things going forward. And then we played against Light Stars. One of three games we played against Light Stars. We beat them 3 0 in this one in the league. Anacora, Rose, and Lucas with the goals. It was all wrapped up around that half time in that one. And then we played Stid Linete in the cup second leg as well. 3 0 from the first leg. We went 5 3 up on our group with Lucas and Anacora. They did get a late goal back, but we were, we were always relatively comfortable. And then we've had two games against Light Stars, and they have not been dull. Anacora put us 1-0 up after only 7 minutes in front of 13 people. Two of those were our fans, which is always nice to make the effort. They've gone, but then they got back into it just after 24 minutes. And they scored in the second half as well to give them a 2-1 aggregate lead. And then we just played them at home. And this was a game where all the emotions happened. So to tell the story of this one, we were 2-0 up. Anacora and Ronald Fred with the goals. We were then 3-0 up through Suzette after 24 minutes. That was then 4-0 up through Anacora after 32 minutes. They got a penalty, make it 4-1, make it 4-2 just before half-time. At this stage, I was relatively confident we could see it through. They went, then went to 4-3 and then 4-all. At this point, I was crying. But then Agafinfi got a goal in the 85th minute to make it 5-4 on the night. And that was... 7-7? Seven, seven? No. Let's work this out. 5 plus 1 is 6. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 all on aggregate. See? I do maths occasionally. And then in extra time, Ronald Fred popped up again to score his second of the game to give us a 6-4 win and a 7-6 aggregate victory. It wasn't dull. And now we have the final. And potentially, as well today, the youth intake. So a bit of a double episode for you. One game and a youth intake review. Slightly the other way around as it should be, but I don't do things simply over at Novice Towers. I don't feel like I can change the side. So it's unchanged. Thomas Hall is the goalkeeper. Maffet, Barb and Rose, the three central defenders. Lesperance from the right. Loray from the left as my wing backs. Both of them are learning the position but can't really play them. But they're far too good not to be in the side. And to be fair to them, they are performing pretty well. Agafinthi and Suzette are the two midfielders with Anacora, Fred and Lucas up front. A slight tactical tweak from when I had this with Helios Karki. We are not playing with ball playing defenders. They are all central defenders because they can't. We haven't got any ball playing defenders really. Early ball in, headed down and that is a penalty. Excellent. Well done Suzette, giving away a fourth minute penalty. Well, if we've given away so many penalties this season, I should not really be surprised. And this will be 1-0 up. Corale is the step up. He flips it down the middle. Hall dives out of the way. And four minutes in, we are already staring defeat squarely in the eyes. And we'll go straight to attacking as a mentality. The mentality, I was going to start the game off. But I thought, no, we'll start counter. But we'll go, we'll go attacking. All bets are off now. We'll go for it for the rest of the game. Marie with the header down. And that is 2-0 already. Damien Maria puts them 2-0 up. Oh, well. We didn't want to win this cup competition. We never want to win this cup competition. Jesus, this has been very, very poor. We are, on our day, we are amazing. When it's not our day, we are hopeless. We have, the occasion has got to us, but the way we score goals, even at 2-0 down, as you saw in the last episode, you never know. 3-0 down, I think I would give up on this point, at this point, but Vibert is on the ball. Looking for options down the left-hand side. Whips a high ball in. That could be dangerous, but Thomas Hall makes a fantastic save. Just diving around like he's a man possessed. And we can break from the back. Anacora on the ball. Got a lot of options. 
He finds his man, Agafinthi. He finds Lucas. Intercepted though, but we win the ball. Fred Pass scores. Fred had to have scored that, and he does. 2 1 down now. We are back in. We've got a smidgen of a chance now. Fred with the goal. Two goals in two games. Three goals in two games for him now. He's come into the side for a long time waiting for his chance. And it's hit the ground running. Rose to Suzette. Agafinthi, long ball over the top. And of course, can he get it ball? Can he whip it in? He does both. He gets it in the back post. And Lucas has made it 2 2. We are back in it now. Two goals very, very quickly. Attacking works for us in this instance. I still think we'll concede goals, but we will score goals as well. Snatching victory from the jaws of defeat, potentially. But there is still 45 minutes left to go in this game. Laurie is not having the greatest game of his life as a, as a wing-back. But he's a good player and I want him to stay on the side. If we can get a goal, I reckon to be favourites. We're going to be, all of them, we're telling you, you've got the ability to make a difference. Surely if they're hearing the same team talk to each different part of the team, it won't have the same effect. But let's not question that too greatly as we start the second half at 2-2. All to play for. I worry every time we defend, every time we go forward, I expect us to store. I expect us to score. Not to store. No one wants us to store. I'm just waffling now, waiting for the next highlight, hoping no one notices that I'm not making any sense whatsoever. Laurie is not really not having a good game, but Suzette has a corner. It's whipped into the near post, headed away. Lucas on the ball. Finds Fred. And of course, it could be offside. Should, is that offside? It feels like it's offside, and it is. It's an offside goal. It felt like it was offside, and we're not going to complain about that one. Unless they score on this attack, then we'll be convinced the referees hate us at this level of football. Suzette on the ball, long ball over the top, it's missed, and a core could be in. Needs a good touch, brings it back inside, whips it across, Fred, and Fred scores! Two goals from Ronald Fred! I never rated this guy before, but he's playing up front now, and he's scoring the goals, that's four in two. And we have to really stay attacking, because we have no real other player way of playing. And penalty! We have a penalty! Who's going to take it? Number 46, is that Fred on a hat-trick? Suzette steps up and that was an atrocious penalty. Straight at the goalkeeper and Rose has a knock as well so we are going to take him off. We're going to pause the game as well so Jeanne is going to come on for Rose and we are going to go to a standard mentality. We're not going to counter, we're going to go to standard for the time being because we do have the lead but we are nervous about going too counterish as we enter the last 10 minutes of the tie if nothing happens between now and the end of the game i'll be a happy man hall with a goal kick to jian his long ball over the top it gives anakor a heck of a lot to do and he does okay chasing the down and the goalkeeper can bring it out from the back maria lots of space on this pitch good ball over the top and zayla could be in zayla good save by thomas hall you don't normally see the goalkeeper picking it up from there it's usually an embarrassment as the ball goes past him. But he does well there. And the highlight looks to be continuing. And the court could be in. Good touch here and he's in. Good touch. Play it across the middle. Across the middle. Lucas scores. Lucas has scored. That is now 4-2. That should be the game and the trophy. Despite being 2-0 down after only 10 minutes, we have shown our class to get back into it. We do not quit at Anse Reunion. We keep battling. We keep fighting. And we do pick up the occasional piece of silverware. Going to make a change as well, just to show some time. I'm going to bring Laurie off and bring Hall on. Yep, we've done that. Just to waste a bit of time as we await the ticker tape parade, which is, which is going to be forthcoming as we get an early corner. And that is the final whistle. We are the Seychellian League Cup champions. We were runners up 12 months ago against the same opponents La Paz but we have beaten them today coming back from 2-0 down to win that game 4-2 that is a good way to start an episode despite missing a penalty and now we should see our youth intake so then we have our candidates and we do have a golden generation as a potential we had that last season and I was a little bit disappointed with what we actually got I haven't clicked on any buttons net yet and now it's time to have a look at these candidates. So I'm going to click on here and 
that's is not the correct screen. I got very excited and I saw five star potential guys, but they include some of my senior squad as well. So you, ooh, there is a four star potential plays right back though. Okay, first of the list, Nikitishan Anakora, a right back, four star current ability, four star, five star potential. Very pleased about that. I've only got one right back, and that is Divaldo Hall, who is a good player, but needs some strength in depth. So this guy is immediately going to be signed up. Still can only offer the players non-contract deals, but he has been signed up. Edgar Anise, an attacking midfielder. It doesn't these two players don't actually play in the positions I want them to play in, but this guy is ambitious, good determination, good teamwork. Good first touch, good passing, good technique. This guy will become a central midfielder relatively quickly as well. So he is signed as well. That's two for two so far. Zhao Fred, right winger. Potential four and a half star player. I don't play with wingers. Is there ability to retrain him as either a striker? Can't really finish. It's not really concentrating, no good composure. Or as a wing back, they are my two sort of options in this boat. I have to think about him. I'm not 100 sure if he was, if he's going to make it with us, but who knows? Hey, a centre half as well. Again, four and a half size. Current ability is good as well. Good determination as well. Bravery, aggression. This guy looks to be good. On the easer. On the easer, good. He is good. Yes, indeed. Another signing. Maria. Again, one star current ability. Last season's squad, potential four and a half, five star potential was really good, but none of them were anywhere near good enough to be the first team players. This season looks a lot better. They're all one star or better, which looks to be good. I won't make a decision on Marie at the moment. We'll see how we go. James Sinon. He'll be signed because good. His first name is James. That is awesome. Unambitious, but good physicals, good finishing as well. This guy is going to be signed. And this guy could be a really good player for us. Should we Leopold? I don't have any backup goalkeepers as Thomas Hall. So really good personality, good determination. Another good signing for us. I'm getting a really good sense of these players coming through. That's five players we've signed that are going to have a real good impact on our side going forward. Shibol Korain. Only a potential three and a half star player, low determination. Plays in the same position as Carlos Law and is nowhere near as good. We'll probably pass on him. Ishmael Safolo. Nice determination. Fairly sporting. Probably won't improve from what he is already. I'm not convinced that he is going to be good enough for us in the long term. Renato Henriette. Nice determination. Works well for the team. Good first touch. Plays in positions what we don't really play him. Can he be retrained as a central midfielder? I have to improve his marking, certainly. There might be something there. I think there's enough there for me to say, yep, we'll get you in. He's non-contract, so if it doesn't work, it doesn't really matter. Jeremiah Rose is the next one. Good determination, ambitious personality. He's signed already. If you've got... An ambitious personality and you've got good determination I'm pretty much <laughs> signing you up on the spot and he's a rose as well always like getting a rose in the side Jonathan Kahn left winger this could be a potential putting pressure on Carlos Law good physicals gonna have to retrain him to be a left wing back but yes I think there's enough there to bring him on I'm really quite happy with what we're getting here Abel Henriette, an old school centre half, determination of 19. Thank you very much. Get him on board. Heading 8, marking 10. Tackling's poor. We can work on that. And he's got a player trait of staying back at all times. That's absolutely fine by me. Oh no. <laughs> that didn't go to plan. Oh god. And I can't sign him. Oh, can I do anything? No. No, I can't sign him. I've, I've let him go. I can't sign him. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. He was going to be really good as well. Agafinfi, left back. 
might potentially be able to train him as a wing back. There's enough there, I think, to bring him in. Approach to sign. Ah, uh, Abel, that's annoying. So annoying. Agapinfi, another potential striker for me. He's, yeah, might be enough there. So we'll sign him. And Innocent Suzette. 16 determination, very brave, naturally fit, decent there. Because I've screwed up the previous one, I have to sign him as well. And I think that will be it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 players signed. Oh, um, idiot. Absolute idiot. But I clicked on terminate the trial. He's gone. We have to move on. So that is a pretty good intake. Really, really impressed with the right back. He'll have to be retrained and worked up on. But that's good. Very happy with what we've got there. So we'll end the episode there. A good, positive episode for us. A, t a cup and a really good youth intake. I don't think it'd be enough to win us the league this season. But we have certainly improved the squad. So for me, the FM Novice, to you, the audience, Thank you very much for watching. I'm now going to go crying that I've lost out on Abel Henrietta. And we'll talk again soon. Good night.